Alrighty, so welcome back to the channel everyone. It's been a while since I've actually filmed the video. A little plot twist for you guys. Uh, for the most part, my videos are on a delay. I think there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to be on a delay. You wouldn't want to upload the same day that you film it or the next day. Uh, I've actually got so backed on my videos because of fall and summer. I was I was videoing like three, three videos a day. Uh, so then, you know, next day I have a video to post. The next three days I have a video to post in case, you know, for some situation I might not be able to film for a day, whether it be raining or whatever the conditions are. So, big issue right now, as you guys see in the title, uh, the van is having, uh, yeah, I'll get to that, <laughs> I'll get to that at the end of the, at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Today is going to be more of a daily video because I have no way to kind of do anything uh, in terms of garbage picking or flea markets or anything like that today. It's uh. It's now fall, it's winter, it snowed the other day. Currently trying to clean up my shipping room. I don't have a pantry, so I have to keep all my water in here. But, you know, everything that I do have, uh, you know, all these golf balls that usually, I actually separated them a long time ago. These are not the ones from those totes uh, or the milk crates. These are ones I got a long time ago. Those golf balls I actually kept. Those I hid away. Those are more that I keep. Uh, but I had like all my college baseball stuff down here. I finally sorted that stuff out, threw away like batting gloves I don't need, you know, stuff that I would never use ever again or never really wanted to keep. You know, I kept like my batting helmet, catcher's glove, stuff like that. But for the most part, a lot of this stuff is eBay stuff, Etsy stuff. Got some golf clubs on eBay as well, uh, roller blade wheels, stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, that's kind of that. I want to head out to a thrift store. I want to get some more tax receipts done. Uh, I was trying to do some research on it. I think you can, you can deduct like 50% of your gross income in terms of tax deduction if you have that many receipts. I think that's what I read. If not, it was like 2%. So that's a big difference. But uh, if you guys are someone who does resell online and you file taxes, which you should do, uh, by law you're supposed to, uh, you're going to need these tax receipts. So make sure to get them in while you can. Uh, let's get on the video and let's see what happens today. Let's do it. Boom shikalaka. We are here at the post office. Good old Stockwood Town. They're actually building a bridge over there, which is going to be nice. Which would be pretty nice because I live over there. And uh, pretty much drive through the whole town to get over here. Oh, man. Beautiful weather out. All right, got some packages here. You got one from Australia, which weighs a ton. From John, so thank you, John, for that package. And we have one here from Gary in, I believe that's Wisconsin. WI is Wisconsin. So thank you, Gary and John, for the packages. Very, very cool. And then I have some today and tomorrow, some sort of, I don't know what this is, magazine from probably, I don't know what it's from. Nine bucks. Oh, it's all damaged. This would have been a good one. But the red has bled in. That's not going to work. And the arms are stained. Oh, it's really bad over there. Seventeen bucks. Holy macro. Hmm. 
This is actually really neat. Oh, it's Pyrex. That looks like a promotional. I think that's uh, Golden Garland. You can see it was probably at a yard sale. It has a yard sale sticker there. This is seven dollars. Promotional pieces are good if you're a collector. Um, this one's kind of worn, but very interesting to come across, especially if you are one of the glassware kind of people. Alright, still made it back as you guys see, still have this stain. Now I have a smaller, like a darker stain in the middle, which is weird because I don't even remember drinking anything recently, but I don't know. I'll probably get this Jeep detailed. What we have here is the receipt. So you guys have been wondering what you get with a receipt. So some places are different. So when I donated to Salvation Army, there was no total amount there. This one has all different things. You probably put a check next to it. Very, very nice. I like this. This one's really nice and easy. Uh, you pretty much put your own total amount. So I would say probably around $100 is kind of like the, oh, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to donate this stuff. Fair amount. I mean, if you put 1000 it's kind of pushing for you know, garbage bag worth of clothes, but if you're donating all sports jerseys, game worth sports jerseys, a thousand bucks isn't unheard of. Uh, but this is something that if you guys do reselling, make sure to try to grab one of these, donate some stuff, get a tax write off. I never really got a tax write off until probably about a month ago and realized it's probably good to, um, to get these things. So if you guys are doing that, that's always good. From what I've been told, you can donate 50%. I think I talked about this earlier. So if you made thirty grand, I think you can don donate fifteen thousand dollars worth and get fifteen thousand dollars worth of donation tax write-offs. But you gotta get fifteen thousand dollars worth of those sheets. And if you're putting down a hundred, you gotta get what one hundred and fifty sheets. It's a lot of times of going to donation. Um, Considering it's what once every <laughs> once every other day, that's a lot. Uh, but every bit helps. Now in terms of the channel itself and what has happened. Uh, well, I blew up the transmission in my van. Uh, recently, it actually snowed. I might be able to show you guys. There's no snow over there. You guys still see some snow over there. It did snow a lot. Actually, it probably snowed about five, six inches. Maybe a little bit more, but I got stuck in the driveway. Kind of like past the, you know, because usually I back up the van over here. I do like a three-point turn kind of. I back up, swing out here, and then drive off. So I got stuck right about there. And I blew up the transmission in my van. Yes, 2017, 45,000 miles on the odometer, and the transmission blew up. So it just goes to show you kind of how much, uh, how far we've come with vehicles. And I think they're just like complete junk nowadays. Realistically, if I can get a vehicle, I'd probably get a Toyota. I think Toyotas make probably the most reliable vehicle. I don't think they are the most attractive vehicle or attractive vehicle brand, but uh, I don't know if Toyota makes vans. That was one thing I was kind of uh, curious about, but moving forward with the channel, I decided let's step it up a little, get a Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, fully loaded. You guys might want to check out the inside. It's already got mud on it. What do you guys think? Probably be nice to do some trash picking in this bad boy. 10,000 miles on it. Got all leather seats. Nice dashboard. Electronic reading. Back face. Fully loaded. We got heated seats. We have heated steering wheel. When you back up, the mirrors actually go down. Very, very nice. I think a lot of nice scrap metal can fit in here. Uh, I got some more space if I want the salsa after a nice muddy day i can throw it back here it's the larry mia uh edition so very very nice i think it'll go great with the channel unfortunately it's going to be brought back in about four or five days and no i'm not actually throwing scrap metal in the back someone else threw like some some other stuff but yeah this is actually just a loaner car that's not <laughs> it's not my actual vehicle i think this vehicle right here MSRP is around $55,000. It's the diesel. It's fully loaded. It's a limited edition kind. It's got the crew cab. Uh, so I think it's around fifty-five grand. Obviously, you can't throw scrap metal on there, but it's nice. It drives nice. Uh, I don't think I'd ever trade it in for, like, I wouldn't trade this truck for my Jeep. And that's one thing that I would like to say is that 
I think my Jeep is a very reliable vehicle. Trucks like this, nice diesel, this, that, but 55 grand, yikes. That's, that's up there. Um, yeah, but blew up the transmission in my van. Should have it back within a couple days. I know they had to order a couple parts. They have to rip it all out. And it's kind of why I haven't been making videos for the last couple days and, and whatnot because it's just been very, very tough to kind of motivate myself with all the current issues I've been having. It is under warranty, so I don't have to pay any money for it. But nonetheless, still a little stressful. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.